Come with me while I unlock the secrets of whiskey as we debunk common myths surrounding this beloved spirit. Whether you're a seasoned whiskey enthusiast or just dipping your toes in the world of spirits, this show promises to offer the truth. Grab your favorite dram, settle in, and prepare to sip on the truth behind the glass. Here is to debunking whiskey myths. Welcome back to Whiskey Straight Up. Today, we're diving into the world of whiskey myths and misconceptions. I'm your host, Derek Sanford, and I'm here to separate the fact from fiction. Now, we all love good whiskey, but there are plenty of myths out there about the stuff, which some are just plain stupid. Let's start by debunking some of the most common ones. Myth number one, older whiskey is always better. This is a big one. Many people believe that the age statement on the bottle is the ultimate indicator of quality, but let me tell you, that's not always the case. You see, aging whiskey is a complex process. It's influenced by multiple factors like the type of cask used, the climate, the distillation process, where in the warehouse it is. Sometimes a younger whiskey can pack just as much flavor and complexity as an older one. It's all about finding the right balance of flavors that suits your palate, not chasing an age statement. Myth number two, bourbon must be made in Kentucky. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kentucky is the heartland of bourbon, right? Well, while Kentucky certainly has a rich bourbon heritage, it's not the only place where bourbon can be made. In fact, bourbon can be legally made anywhere in the United States as long as it meets certain criteria. So don't be surprised if you come across a delicious bourbon from outside the bluegrass state. There are many out there. Myth number three, whiskey should always be enjoyed neat. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing quite like savoring a fine whiskey all on its own. But that doesn't mean you can't get creative with how you enjoy it. From uh, cocktails like the classic Old Fashioned or modern uh, twists like whiskey sours and whiskey smashes, there are endless possibilities when it comes to whiskey in a cocktail form. So go ahead, experiment, and find what tickles your taste buds. Ice is also okay too. Seriously, enjoy it how you like it. I'm not going to judge. All right, let's, let's tackle a couple more myths that might have you scratching your head. Myth number four, whiskey doesn't change once it's bottled. Now, this is a common misconception, but the truth is whiskey can continue to evolve even after it's been bottled. Factors like temperature, light exposure, um, even the bottle seal can all influence the flavor of the whiskey over time. Oxidation is very important with how a whiskey holds over time. That's why it's essential to store your bottles properly and enjoy them within a reasonable time frame. Don't hold on to a bottle for years and years and years unless you really know that you're, you're, you're preserving it the right way. All right, last but not least, myth number five. Whiskey is strictly a man's drink. This misconception has persisted for far too long, and it's time to set the record straight. The truth is, whiskey knows no gender. It's enjoyed by people of all backgrounds. Whether you're a man, a woman, it doesn't really matter. There's no wrong way to enjoy a good whiskey. So let's put an end to the outdated notion that whiskey is a man's drink. Cheers to all the ladies out there in the whiskey community. Honestly, your palates are probably better than most men I know. Well, that wraps up our myth-busting session for today. Remember, when it comes to whiskey, knowledge is power. Also, the best whiskey is the one that you enjoy, no matter what the myths say. Thank you for watching this episode of Whiskey Straight Up, and remember, drink responsibly. Cheers.